Hi, my name is Adrian Weinbrecht. I'm a commercial advertising photographer based in London, England. And NEC recently asked me if I'd do a bit of a review of their SpectraView reference range of monitors. In all honesty, I'm not the sort of guy that does uh, equipment reviews. So I'm just gonna talk about uh, a little bit my experience with these particular monitors. I purchased my first NEC monitor about 18 months ago after looking at everything that was available on the market. Have I been happy so far? Yeah, I have been actually, I've been delighted. So much so that I purchased my second NEC monitor about six months ago. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, with everything so far. Why did I choose NEC? Well, the NEC SpectraView reference range are wide gamut LCD monitors that do exactly what they say. They show off a very, very wide range of colors and densities. And for me, this is a really, really important thing because my clients are very, very, very discerning and very particular and very fussy. And so am I. And most of the stills images that I capture are captured on a phase one camera, which is a medium format digital camera capturing information at 16 bit. So I need something that can really show all of the detail and all of the richness of the files that we create. I don't want this video to be a, a, an ad for um, NEC. I also want it to be useful. So I'm gonna speak a little bit about calibration. If you're a working professional, then you should be calibrating as a matter of cause. And even if you're a keen amateur, keen hobbyist, then I think also you should be calibrating as a matter of cause. Otherwise, how do you know that the colors you're looking at on your screen are, are true and accurate? So let's talk about my own calibration settings and the suggested settings. Working our way through, starting with color temperature. The suggested settings for color temperature are 5,500 degrees um, Kelvin uh, to 6,000 Kelvin. We actually calibrate to 5,800, so almost in the middle of those two suggestions. The next recommendation is on the gamma, and the suggestion there is either to go for a gamma of 2.2 or L star. We use L star and um, that's fine. In regards to our uh, lumen, luminance, we calibrate to 120 uh, lumens, I think it is. We've been using these settings for about the last 18 months and they've been fantastic so far. Now, why should you calibrate? If you look at the picture on the screen behind me, this was from a recent shoot for Converse. And after I delivered uh, the files to the client, I had a phone call from the art director that was working on the shoot. And um, his name's David. He said, Adrian, um, love the shoot. Really happy with everything. But the files are really, really dark. So I just said, well, David, uh, is your monitor calibrated? Because I felt very confident that what we were giving him was actually correct and to a standard. And he said, oh, I'm not sure. So he went away, he came back and he'd had his monitor calibrated in the meantime. And sure enough, it was his monitor that was out. I think it's really important that when you're giving files to clients, whether they be stills or motion files, that you have absolute confidence that what you're delivering them is color and density correct. One of the advantages of calibrating with the NEC SpectraView range of monitors is that it's an actual hardware calibration. So they use lookup tables to do the calibration. What does that mean? It means that instead of calibrating through the graphics card, you're actually calibrating the monitor itself. So you're actually affecting the physical characteristics of the actual hardware inside the monitor. Why is that better? The way I think of it is if I speak to someone from another country, if I know the language perfectly, then there's going to be a certain richness to that conversation. If I have to speak to someone in a different language through an interpreter, yep, we're going to communicate fine, but it's it's not going to have all of the richness and nuance if I'm actually fluent in the language. So that's how I look at hardware calibration versus 
purely software calibration. So that's it. So thanks for um, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Thank you. Bye bye.